hour late. Well, it's not my fault, is it? You're the one who's supposed to know about engines. Well, I got it going, didn't I? The time it took you, I could have bloody built a van. Something. We had a home watch meeting last night. The very thing we discussed is happening out there now, and you're not even bothered. got someone else to do it by now. He's been having us on 50 nickel. We've got two eight knees to rub together. If I ever see him again, I'll kick his teeth in. He's got none. It would have been easier for me not to sign, for God's sake. Well, why did you? Just for one minute, will you listen to me? It's easy for you to stick to your principles. Bob, you said you'd listen. I'll listen when you start talking sense. I am trying to. You're a Catholic and you're a socialist. Yeah, and so are you. Bob! So it was right for you not to sign. But it was easy as well. Look, you're out of work all day. It's me that's at home here worrying about Claire. Oh, for God's sake, Sheila. Bob, I am trying to explain. There's nothing to explain. They're just people who've been sick. They're not child molesters. They're not murderers and rapists. They're just people who've been sick. I know that. Look, I know it. But I've told you before, knowing something is not the same as feeling it. I know Claire would be all right with them, but I don't feel it. And what if something should happen to her? I don't believe this. What if something did happen to her? Then I would have that on my conscience that I put my own principles before my own child. Can't you see that? Oh, OK, so I turn my back on a few people who are sick. OK, I'm not a good Catholic. OK, I'm not a good socialist. OK, I'll have a black mark on my soul for the rest of my life. But do you know something? Do you know something? I would rather have that than have anything happen to my child. Oh, I didn't just sign. I agonised over it. I'll be back <sighs> about six o'clock. What are you doing here? Ought to take you for a drive. No. Mm -hmm. It's eight o'clock. Six minutes past. I've got to get to work. Ah. Uh -uh. Yes, I have. Saw your boss last night. Howard Drucker. You've got the morning off with his blessing. Why? Because I paid for his dinner. Well, that's how I got it. Why do I need it? You see. Come on, put your coat on. If he didn't get an answer round the front, why'd you try round the back then, eh? Cos he said there'd always be somebody in this week. They live with the nurse, and she's on night or something. All right, if you weren't on the road, why'd you leg it? Cos you put the fear of God on me. Police, I think. I don't get them. I wasn't doing nothing. Well, if you were doing nothing, you've nothing to fear from the police. You're joking, aren't you? Right couple of mugs we are. Seven o'clock. Yeah. No, seven o'clock. He must have meant at night. Oh, 
A moonlight flit, that's what he was after. Well, he'd have said night if he meant night. No, because it is night to him. He's never seen seven in the morning. Pat? We'll call back there later, eh? Pat! You can't stop the rock. Why didn't you just use the phone, eh? I couldn't find a phone box that was working. I went for a mile to try to find... There they are! Come here! You don't take my boss out for a meal just to get me off work for a couple of hours. Correct. So what are you after? He'll keep. Tom. Well, what do you think? Very nice. Presumably I was on last night's agenda. Yes. And some other tasty dishes on the menu. It's no good looking inside it yet. I'm gonna have it all ripped out and redecorated. What? It needs it. Do you mean what I think you mean? Hey? You think you're buying this house? No. I bought it. Lawyer, I'll be in church. As soon as you get one, eh, gummy? <laughs> Think I've proved a point. What? Well, seemed to amuse you yesterday evening, the very thought of my apprehending someone. I think he did very well there, Paul. <laughs> that fella could have given you a nasty sock, you know. Very funny. Morning. See ya. Good morning. An accident. Oh, you can't go to work like this. Don't be ridiculous, Anna. But you can't. People might think I gave it to you. Oh. I've already got a house. You couldn't swing a cat in it. I've never felt the urge. Oh, come on, where would you rather live, here or Brookside? Well, here, but... So what's the problem? You just don't see it, do you, Tom? What? I like to be consulted, for God's sake. I like to be consulted on tiny details, like where we're going to live. I'm consulting you now, aren't I? You've already bought the damn place. Yeah, but I didn't want to lose it. I had to move quick. What about my place? My dad will move in. Your dad? Yeah. He's mad about the idea. <laughs> what? And you've already talked this over with him? Of course. Oh, of course. I mean, he's your father. I'm only going to be your wife. Hey. Tom, you've bought this house, disposed of mine, and we haven't even talked about it. Well, I wanted it to be a surprise. Oh, it's that all right. Come on. How much should you pay for it? An arm and a leg. That's why you went to see Howard last night, isn't it? Yeah. Um... And what? According to the estate agent, there were three people after this. And what, Tom? I had to keep him sweet. Didn't want him to think I was poaching his staff. What are you talking about? I was going to talk to you about it over lunch, but... Uh, I want you to come and work for me. It's going up in the world, isn't he? What floor did he say? Uh, sixth. 
Oh, yeah, there's the lift over here. Are we? Oh, no. I had booked us into your favourite restaurant. I couldn't face it, Tom. My head's spinning as it is. Why? Are there any more rabbits up your sleeve? No. Well? I need time. Well, you've got a couple of hours yet. You're not seeing Howard till three o'clock. I beg your pardon? I've fixed an appointment up for you. Oh, come on, Lanny, it's a... Oh, 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 give us stinks in here. Hang on, hang on. Oh, oh hey, I'm good all the way to you. I'm going backwards, aren't I? Hey, next time we swap over, right? Ow! I'll walk me shin. Will you stop pushing oh, so much? Shut up! Yeah, it's all right for you. I'm going backwards. Yeah, well, if you didn't tilt it, I wouldn't have all the weight, oh. would I? What floor is this? Eh... Uh, I think it's the third. Oh, only three to go. Deputy Financial Controller. It's not bad, you know, at your age. It's wonderful. So? What about salary? Twice what you're on now. I can always write it off against the tax. It's a joke. Well? Can you wait until tonight? Oh. I'll drop you off. No, I want to take my car. Make a nice change. Me being in control of something. Right, right. <laughs> what? You ate? <it. laughs> well, why don't you tell me downstairs? Because I wasn't scared when I was downstairs, was I? <laughs> Come on, look over. Behave. Come on, Terry, it'll cure you. It'll kill me. Hey, Terry, come and have a look at this. I'll turn it in, Pat. No, look, there's a lot of kids around the van. She's having me on. Hey, you lot, get off that! Like, you're just trying to get me to look down there. Hey, come on, I'm warning you, get off the van! What, hey, Pat, turn it in. Stop taking the mickey, mate. Oh, go, Terry, I think they're gonna nick it. Hey! Upstairs, they're gonna nick the cupboard. Are you finished yet? It's the last piece to yours. Hey, I wouldn't go over there. It's not working. Money on it. Well, it says out of order. That was from last time, about two weeks ago. Gonna go running in this time, are you? No. Only I was wondering if you'd stop gloating yet. Gloating? Yeah, over causing trouble between husband and wife. Listen, love, I'm not a fishwife. If you want to start shouting, we'll go indoors, yeah? No, just shouting, love. I just want to know why. Right. 
Your husband's entitled to his opinion, Sheila. In fact, I happen to agree with him last night. But nobody's going to shout at me as if I'm some kind of idiot. That's fair enough. But you should have told him that, there and then. But you didn't. You used me to get at him, and you know something? I think that's pretty despicable. Well, I can't thank you enough, mate. Yeah. Hey, hey, hang on. Aren't you forgetting something? I don't think so. Mummy. Oh. Yeah. I'll have to be a check. Oh, come on. Hey, just get the money and let's go. It's me benefactor. See, he's made out all ready for you. Bounce. No chance. Department of Health and Social Security. Ah, oh, no, come on. Mmm. Let's try it. Who's this? Hiya. Who's this? Hiya. Who is it? Not your tea? No, nothing a bit, love. Cup of tea, then? No time, Shame, all right. <laughs> Listen, kid. I don't agree with what you said, you know, but... Well, I understand. I've done something today I haven't done for months, you know. Mm. What's that? Oh, no. Death of my queen. Oh, and these are for a... my princess. Oh, what's that, bro? Oh. <laughs> we'll cash it. Oh, we worked all day for it. We're not cashing it. Well, they're not going to check up. Look, we're signing on, aren't we? If they check up on us, we'll end up in Nick. Well, then, what do we do with it? Here, I'll show you what we do with it. Hey! It's all yours. I don't know why I bothered to go in today. This place is running like clockwork. Sound disappointed? Well, a problem or two makes you feel needed. What about you? Oh, I, um... I've got an announcement to make. Oh? I've resigned from Hamilton and Devereux. I know. Oh. Howard told me. Naturally. Oh, we're all mates. Yes, of course. Hey, come on. Jason and the Argonauts. What? I saw it when I was a child. It had quite an effect on me. There was Jason beavering away, making crucial decisions. Well, he thought he was making crucial decisions. And all the time, the great gods looking down on him, knowing exactly what he was going to do. Have you been at the cooking, Sherry? I'd just like to think I was capable of doing something that would take you by surprise, that's all. You could always put two sugars in me tea. Oh, the workers. Um. He didn't pay you. Oh, yeah. Paid us all right. Check off the soch. Never mind. You'll get another job tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Things are bound to improve. Tomorrow we might get paid in Monopoly money. So what are you going to do? Check it in. Oh, that's it, then. What are you doing? The bait's off. No, it's not. You just said the bait was off. Oh, good, you're going to bought a packet. Last week. Well, why? Does it matter? Look, I didn't smoke one. I didn't smoke one because I had faith in you. Well, now you're packing it in. Thank God for that. Yeah, go on, you go and smoke yourself to death, love. Just prove to us you've got no willpower. Because we have, and we're not going to jack it in. We're going to make a go of it, right? Right? I just wish somebody would give me an excuse. Howard tried to talk me out of it. I'm not surprised. One thing he said struck home. Yeah? He said I'd be the boss's wife. 
So? Thorile people? That's their problem. Well, mine too. First mistake I make, and it'll be, oh, she's only working here because she's married to the boss. I'm going to have to prove them wrong. Mm. Would it help if you met them first, before you started? Well, I've met them already, remember? No. It's Billy Wiz now. Who? Billy Wiz. Well, that's what I call him. New chief accountant. Took Deacon Matthews' job. Oh. And he's got an assistant. A woman. A bit older than you. She's all right. And there's old Malcolm, of course. Malcolm? Malcolm Pollock? Is he still there? A financial director, yeah. So where do I fit in, Tom? You fit in. Where exactly? We'll have to sort that out. I thought I was filling a post. I'm not, am I? You're creating one for me. What does it matter? Well, of course it matters! Why didn't you tell me this earlier? Well, you didn't ask. Oh, no! Of course! How silly of me! Would it have made any difference? Do you think I'd have resigned from Hamilton Dever if I'd known this earlier? You're not offering me a job, Tom! It's a bloody sinecure! The job's not defined yet, that's all! But if there's no sweat, by the time it's all been sorted out, you're not even going to be there. What? Oh, come on, Heather. I'll have you pregnant in a month. <laughs>